Love is better than life. God has made a promise to us that we would be holy because He is holy. And that our inheritance would come into His presence. Yeah. Lost in wonder, looking upward into your eyes of fire. God so holy, so full of mercy, you draw me to your side. What can I say to such a one? What can I sing that hasn't been sung? What can I offer you in thanks for your Beloved, right now, we are in the second gear, driving our way through this program. Dear Kanese, and then, a Tashon Kokra, our restoration voices, oh Jesus, they put it together, this wonderful program, that highest praise, 24 days. Highest grade, 2014. His glorious entrance. His glorious entrance. Before we continue, prophecy is starting from Ezekiel chapter 40 and it ran through up to. 48. Prophecy is starting from Hezekiel chapter 40 and it ran through up to 48. Nebrana is right. I am for you, Namian, Nagan Popo, a power from this eight. I mean, chapter eight, nine, and a in the part I have for yet in a home. I'm a young Popo, a power because in the part I assume a person has together for brother Joshua as he leads us in a time of praises. And let us come up, brother Joshua. Hallelujah. Make some Holy Ghost crazy noise! When I'm in shell, say, Well, yes, I did know. And as I did, we know, we who are time for so. Because they didn't say, A minute be, and a Joshua, and the Israel for the year, yeah, and treat the walls of Jericho good for them. Make some noise again! Make some noise! And then 
What do that is in the back? Oh, how are you? You mean you? Ay, 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 ay. If I talk, George. 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 Yet, we will be an idea of what Amen.
Haleluya. Haleluya. Wow. Oh, show me. The, the Holy Spirit is a driver. Haleluya. I never see my MC as a joke. I see it as a ministration. So when I'm when I MC, I minister to your life. Say amen. Jimmy, so amen. Amen. What make us say amen or auntie? Amen. In fact, my time in fact, as it stands now, 2014, in this month of August, the best Atari will be the same. I tell you. And I think, I think gradually I am coming into the realm of being a prophet. Because you remember Atari, my alliance business is the same. The alliance is the same. The alliance is the same. Hallelujah. We bless God. I want to one, one more time welcome every single person into this place. Maybe I will turn up. Unfilia, if I talk about out to be in check, or more chance, I'm going to be in this place as you are supposed to display. We are the house of God, and liberty is in the house of God. Sorry, through another person, I'm going to be able to say, not in my flow. Somebody say, flow. Mr. Rock, I brought you here, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, yes, sir. Challenge, guys, here are you. I'm learning so many things today. Amen. The entire program was on. We're going to have the welcome message to be given to us by the president. I don't know the new president of Restoration Voices. It's been a long time. Last year, we didn't have the program, right? So I didn't come here. So I don't know the new um, executive so much. So I want to invite the president to give us a message. So please, president, wherever you are. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Indeed. It was so true when David said that I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. I believe I'm seeing some form of gladness here. Oh, give me a wave. Give me a wave if you can feel it. Right. Um, tonight is all about Thanksgiving. All I have to say is that you are all welcome to this very august occasion on behalf of the district minister of this very church. The presbyters in charge, the local ministers as well, and all the very executives I'm serving on board with. Hallelujah. All that I'm saying is that please make yourselves comfortable, feel at home. Because tonight we're going to dance and shake certain things off the devil. Hallelujah. Tonight we're going to do something crazy. Hallelujah. Tonight, we're going to do something so glorious in the presence of God. I want to hear a shout. God bless you so very much. God bless you so much. Thank you. Oh, yeah, my is a man. So, I want to invite the programming team to give us an administration as we continue with the program.
house, wonderful. Worthy is, is the lamb. Please don't invite to the front a wonderful man I've known. Like, he's a wonderful personality. I mean, we are blessed to have Mr. Kennedy Yebua to give us an invitation. Hallelujah! 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 Shall we pray? Father, we bless you this evening. We thank you for opportunity like this. We thank you that we are in your presence and you have your word for us. We pray that Father speak to us and help us live here as refined people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I'm not preaching. I'm not preaching. I'm only giving a notation on our team for today. Um, highest praise as is that uh, it started like eight years, is it eight years, since 2008. Since 2008 is how many years now? Six years now. And then we are believing God that if throughout the year we have had no chance to bless the Lord, we will dedicate one day to offer our thanks to God. Are you with me? And he said, and we will have say Thanksgiving to now we have done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hello? Because I want to believe those who are sitting now, they are here to offer their highest praise. Hello? And then to say, Michelle will cry, sir. I say, yeah, no, you are so busy. And then we want to tell God that we have time for his work. Until one day, they are dedicated. I'm talking about. Um, glorious entrance. Glorious entrance. I want to read my scripture from Ezekiel 43, 1 to 7. Do we have our Bibles here? iPads, tablets, phones, smartphones, um, lazy phones, whatever. If you have your Bible on it, you, you lift it up and let's read. We are reading from Ezekiel 43. I'm reading from verse 1 to 7. And then I, I want to believe I wouldn't spend more than 15 minutes on this one. The Lord took me, verse 1, to the gate that faces east. And there I saw coming from the east the dazzling light of the presence of the God of Israel. God's voice sounded like the roar of the sea. And the earth shone with the dazzling light. This vision was like the one I had seen when God came to destroy Jerusalem and the one I saw by the Sheba River. Then I threw myself face downward on the ground. The dazzling light passed through the east gate and went into the temple. The Lord Spirit lifted me up and took me into the inner courtyard where I saw that the temple was filled with the glory of the Lord. The man stood beside me there, and I heard the Lord speak to me out of the temple. Mortal man, here is my throne. I will live here among the people of Israel and rule them forever. Neither the people of Israel nor their kings will ever again disgrace my holy name by worshipping other gods or by burying the corpses of the dead kings. Hallelujah. Amen. This, ah, is this supposed to be an English service? No. It's supposed to be um, a hybrid service. Is that not it? No. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The American kind is a CIA prophecy. For Ezekiel, that was the last prophecy for um, the prophet Ezekiel. Prophecy is starting from Ezekiel chapter 40 and it runs through up to 48. Nebrana Israel, Ayaponi Onyamienim, Nanyankopong, Akaom from verse 8. I mean, chapter 8, Nayabana. Inipa I bonnet ye yang kupon and my yang kupon up because inipa e summa bushum 
And this is what we want to do tonight. It's nothing more than we restoring our faith. We restoring our life. We coming back to God again. And God is still interested in our life. That is what I want to assure you on. God is not interested in how bad you, you, you think you are. Because my friend Chris, and I'm a Chris in Canada, when you're born in. I don't need to tell you how bad you are. But I need to let you know that even in your state of thinking that you are bad, God still loves you. Hallelujah. And this is one to, um, what I want to present to you this evening. That as we go through the ministration, as we go through the dancing, as we go through whatever we'll be doing tonight, present yourself as an offering to God. Dedicate your life to God. And God is giving us a second chance. We shouldn't blow it. I want to believe that we will live here as people who has been refined. And God is going to come back to us with a spirit. And then as the administration is going on, feel free. And whatever your spirit tells you, it might be the way of your restoration. Allow yourself to be used. And I want to believe that God will enter you like never before. Highest praise, we want to believe that like never before we are going to give our praise to God. So it's not like what you did this morning. It's not like how, what you did yesterday or last week at church. This is something you want to start again. And I want to believe that as we live here and we confess to God that we are sorry about how we fled our life, God is going to come strong into our life again. And we are going to do those things that we, we couldn't do before. Hallelujah. Amen. May God bless you. Amen. And as I take my seat, I want to pray for you that you will not live here. You will not just pass through, but you will, live, you will meet a maker of your soul. Hallelujah. Amen. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you. We thank you for this opportunity again. Father, you are still interested in our life. And we pray that you forgive us our weaknesses and bring us back to yourself. Give us back your spirit to function again in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. What is your expectation for this year 2014? One. Austria, are ready? My expectation, which is also an expectation I have tonight, is that anywhere I go, anywhere I minister, not only my ministration, even my way of life, will affect others and change them, even heal them. Well, you see, this guy is, is, is a wonderful guy. This guy. This guy with this same group at my wedding last year came to minister a song. Up till now, my church still talks about you. But he killed the song. God bless you, okay? Minister to us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. The theme for the program is, is Glorious Entrance. And today, it's only one thing that's on my heart, and that's what I said. I don't expect anyone here to leave here the same. Whatever healing that you are expecting, whatever problem that is in your life, anything whatsoever, today before you leave, you will leave here changed. Sicknesses, whatever, it will go and it will be replaced with something better. Amen. So just expect something. Don't be a spectator. Expect something before you leave here. Amen.
Hallelujah. Why? Right, please join us on stage. to minister, all the pastors are here to minister and you are all here to worship God together. Hallelujah. In this atmosphere of worship, one thing I want you to know is that don't cut the flow of worship with many applause, but just lift your hands. He said the lifting up of our hands is like the evening sacrifice. And God has so much of his glory to give to us, but we must empty ourselves of ourselves so that we can get all. Hallelujah. So just lift up your hands unto God as a sign of surrender to Him. Just lift your hands unto Him as a sign of surrender unto Him. 